So the off-white fives. That's what we're gonna be doing a video on today. And so to start off, we're gonna talk about the box right here. So it's pretty much your standard Jordan 5 box with the main difference being these Swiss cheese cutout holes with like a plastic film so you can see inside the box, which the shoes are not in right now. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, but inside the box, uh, there's not much going on. You do get this nice uh, clear, like plastic, I guess paper-like stuff that uh, goes around the shoes, which I like better than the normal paper because I feel like that's not gonna rip as easy versus like the Cactus Jack stuff back there. I love it's like shoe paper, but it rips super easy, so I've had to be super careful with this. This I feel like is gonna last a little bit longer. And then but going around the box, it's pretty much the same thing. Red Jumpman up top, uh, Jumpman on the side. And then this other side, you get your, where it's size 13 right there. And then you get your uh, cement color, colorway around the bottom. So pretty nice. Uh, the only other thing that I have taken off that you get inside the box are these red and black shoelaces. And they're pretty nice. I'm thinking about switching them out, but I haven't done it yet. Relacing. But that's pretty much everything inside the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes. So we're only gonna really take a look at this one right now. And these, uh, I just wore these, so they are a bit dirty. But we're gonna start from bottom to top. On the bottom here, you have this nice translucent yellow around like the midfoot with a red Jumpman in the center. And then you also get the uh, translucent yellow right, I guess, heel. And then in the middle of that, you get this translucent gray with the Nike written right there. And it's kind of embossed or whatever you want to put. It's lowered. Then you get these two little gr darker gray panels right there. And then gray up by the toe box. And then so when we move on to the midsole, it again wraps around with the translucent gray and then comes you get these hits of translucent yellow right there, and then right where the air bubble is. Then you get a little bit of red on this side, and then a black all the way around, pretty much. And then over here is where the teeth are, and you get the nice red, like bright red teeth, which I really like. And then so that's pretty much for the sole and midsole. So then when we come up top, you're greeted with this nice like aged yellow, like mesh, plastic mesh or whatever you want to call it around pretty much the whole upper. It's a little bit more yellow than I thought, but I actually don't mind it as much as I did in that first video. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but now after wearing it and looking at it more, I don't mind it. It's a little bit brighter. It depends on the light that you're in. Like right now, it's gonna look closer to white than the yellow. But then on this side, you have the 23 right there underneath this uh, mesh panel. And then underneath this mesh, you get uh, the Nike Air logo. On this side, of course, is your normal like Nike text, like the Beaverton Oregon stuff. So that's all right there. On the top here, you have this nice like mesh, which you now everything's mesh, toe box. And then up here, you get this more aged yellow, translucent eyelets on each side. And then you have the zip tie, which is that same color matches pretty much everything. And then you get these nice, in the shoe already are these cream laces with your standard or off-white shoelaces that say shoelaces. And then oh yeah, this is a little bit different right here where you have these, the first cutout right there. It's a little bit different like plasticky or more rubbery feeling plastic right there with the mesh underneath. And then around the shoes, you also get more of these punch holes or whatever right here, right there. And then on this side, you get two more. So pretty much whatever socks you're wearing, you're gonna be able to see what it is, even with this left on, because I know some people, I think, cut these out. And then, so the tongue is like a 3M with a red Jumpman right there and another one of these punch holes. And it's got that nice, bright, like shiny uh, gray or silver, whatever you want to call that. On the inside though, you get this cool, you get the Air Jordan upside down tag, but since it's got the punch hole right there, they actually cut part of the tag off so it doesn't fully say Air Jordan. It's cut off, which I kind of like that detail. Inside the shoe, which you can't, oh, there, 
Right there is a red Nike with a swoosh and then air right underneath. And then it's a full black like insole. That's pretty much everything around the shoe. This shoe is pretty much the same too. Nothing really different. Just this one has a zip tie. And then you do actually get a, the lace lock right there is translucent yellow. Again, matching with this whole uh, theme, which again, this is the sail or in fire red off-white Jordan 5 in that colorway. So now that we've gone over the shoe, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts. So I've now just worn this for the past couple hours, actually out taking pictures, which I'll throw up some uh, for on feet at the end of the video. And I gotta say, like with all like um, that exposed foam, like Virtual normally does with his off-white collaborations, get all that, but it looked like a lot less padding than uh, the Jordan 5s, that other pair that I have that are Fresh Prince ones without the laces. Those look really padded around the sides. So I was a little bit nervous looking about how thin that was. Wasn't sure if it was gonna be comfortable, especially with the thin part right here. I wasn't sure if that was gonna rub, but actually it's super soft. All that exposed foam feels super soft. And then once it's actually on the foot, it feels really comfortable. It's actually one of my favorite pairs of Jordans that I own which I used to think I really liked the Cactus Jack, the Travis Scott ones up there. I loved wearing those and thought those were comfortable, but these I think actually beat it. And so after walking around, my feet didn't hurt. Uh, I'm a size 13, I went with the size, size 13 and it fits well, it's not loose or anything or too tight. It fits good, so I'd say go true to size if you guys are picking up a pair of these or got a pair of these. But yeah, so overall, I definitely like the shoe. I like the aesthetic of the shoe. I didn't think I was gonna like the yellow, but I actually do. It's grown on me a little bit, especially after walking around, taking some pictures. Uh, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. I still think I prefer the actual, like the black one, or that first colorway a little bit better. But this to me really isn't that bad. And I think it's also because it's got the red and the black. I do like the red hit like right there. The 23, it's same thing on the tongue. I enjoy. And yeah, so overall, I enjoy the shoe. I think it's good. I don't think it's gonna be everybody's like favorite colorway again. I think that first pair was a bit better just than that looked. I like that color scheme a little bit more, but I definitely see myself wearing these more than I thought I would. And I do like, since they're not completely white and they're that yellow, I think they can get beat up a little bit more and not look terrible. So if you guys have a pair of these, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Even if you don't, let me know if you're gonna pick them up or if they're even worth it to you guys. Because I'm definitely excited about them. I like them. I can't wear them to wear them more. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.